Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about wind load analysis with the reference of BNB 2006 in a building structure. So here is a problem. A two-story residential building, 6.5 meter height total and located in Dhaka, Bangladesh, rectangle in shape whose length is 15 meter and width is 8 meter. Here we say that uh, it's a windward direction. So the length of windward direction is uh, 8 meter and uh, calculate its uh, wind intensity following BNBC 2006. So for this data we have to find out uh, wind intensity. Uh, so available data is uh, building height 6.5 meter and ground floor is 3.25 meter just divided by 2 of 6.5 meter and the width is 8 meter and length is 15 meter and the location is Dhaka. So wind speed is 210 kph as per BNBC 2006. Then we will see some documents from BNBC 2006. It's a sustained wind pressure. Here we can see a formula that is QZ. It's QZ will a QZ is a sustained wind pressure that will help to find out the intensity PZ. So here we can see the formula of PZ. In PZ we can see uh, CZ multiplies with CP and QZ. So QZ is the uh, sustained wind pressure that we will obtain from this formula. So here CC is the velocity to pressure conversion coefficient which is 47.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and CI is the importance factor uh, which we will find from this chart and uh, CZ is the combined height and exposure coefficient that we will find from this chart and VV is the basic wind speed uh, in kilometer per hour like uh, for Dhaka it's uh, 210 kph so to find out CZ value so we will find our CZ value with the height of 3.25 meter and 6.5 meter like in every story. So for 3.25 meter here we can see in the chart that 0 to 4.5. Here our height is 3.25 and the 0 to 4.5 for exposure A it is uh, 0 0.368 for CZ value and here we already write it and uh, for height 6.5 meter so here we can see that uh, exposure a and 6 meter is present and 9 meter is present but no 6.5 meter height is available so we have to do interpolation so in interpolation we can uh, subtract these two values and these two values and we can this uh, use this formula this is nothing but a formula for interpolation and here's the subtract between 0 0.497 and 0 0.415 and divide it by the subtraction of uh, these two this two is three so three and multiplies with 6.5 minus 6 that means 0 0.5 and plus is 0 0.415 so it's a, it is uh, 0 0.429 cz value for uh, 6.5 meter and 3.25 meter is 0 0.368 then we can find out qz it's uh, cc multiplies with ci cz and vv whole square so for 3.5 meter it's uh, uh, sorry here it will be 3.25 <coughs> meter and uh, here 47.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 1 into 0 0.368 into 210 square is the velocity so the qz value is 0 0.77 kilonewton per meter square and for height of 6.5 meter it is uh, 0 0.893 kilonewton per meter square both formulas are same just uh, cz value is the difference so here it was uh, 0 0.368 and here it is uh, 0 0.429 so the value is 0 0.893 kilonewton per meter square 
now the design wind pressure we have to calculate and it's our final uh, determination of the problem so first we have to find out the uh, pz and uh, for pz here is a formula uh, cz multiplies with cp and qz we already find out uh, qz and uh, we have to find out now cg and cp so cg is nothing but the gust factor so gust coefficient we can find out from this chart so here we can see uh, for ground floor you know ground floor height is 3.25 meter and for exposure a it is 0 to 4.5 meter level so uh, the value will be 1.654 for c uh, G and uh, for 6.5 meter height it will be here we already do some interpolation and the result will be 1.579 from this two 6 to 9 interpolated and uh, we find 1.579 and overall pressure coefficient for overall pressure coefficient CP value so to find out CP value we need some parameter it's a uh, h by b and l by b to follow this chart so here h is 3.25 meter and b the base facing that we find in the uh, question that uh, width is 8 meter windward so this is the base facing and uh, our for this problem the base sorry uh, here is uh, here the b b is uh, 8 meter so 3.25 by 8 is uh, 0 0.406 and l by b is 15 by 8 1.875 and h for uh, 6.5 meter and h by b is 0 0.812 and uh, l by b is 1.875 so we will now see the chart here uh, l by b and h by b so h by b our uh, for 3.25 meter it's uh, 0 0.406 so it is less than 0 0.5 so this row l by b is uh, 1.875 that we can't find out here it is 1 to 2 so we have to do interpolation between these two then we can find out 1.18 for 3.25 meter height and for 6.5 meter height cp is 1.22 it's also interpolating cause uh, for 6 point height h by b is 0 0.812 that is uh, greater than 0 0.5 so this row we can't be used and uh, for this we have to do interpolation between 0 0.5 to 10 and also one for 1.875 we have to interpolate it between these two for 0 0.5 and for 10 so finally we got cp is uh, 1.22 for 6.5 meter height then we will calculate the design wind pressure so for 3.25 meter pz is equal to uh, multiplied with uh, cg value is 1.654 that we find out and uh, um, this is gust coefficient this uh, this is find out from the chart and cp is the 1.18 that we saw earlier in the in this chart and interpolated and then qz that we found at the first phase of the of this problem so it is uh, 0 0.77 so the value of pz is 1.5 kilonewton per uh, meter square and also for 6.5 it's uh, 1.72 kilonewton per meter square. So this is the wind load calculation for a uh, simple structure to store it and uh, with the height. Here is a typical diagram of a uh, wind uh, wind intensity against the height of the building. So in the ground floor, that means uh, with the increase of the height, we can see the intensity of the uh, wind will be increased so this is a problem from uh, window calculation with the reference of bnbc 2006
now we will see some other phenomena that we can see in steel shade building so here we can see the roof this roof is not flat roof it's a, some kind of shade building it's a piece proof so we see the plan here it's a, here's the face where wind will pass through and this is the windward direction and this one is the leeward direction and these are the side walls so when the wind passes through this direction all other direction will face suction pressure so uh, here uh, if the roof shape is like that then we will calculate uh, with this formulas for windward wall all values is 0 0.8 so this space this space will be uh, cp 0 0.8 and this formula will be used and for leeward wall so leeward wall in uh, we will see uh, the values l by b with the ratio and uh, cp will be changed with this ratios and uh, for use uh, the value uh, the formula will be pz is equal to cj into cp and qh so here's the formula qh is for mean height for mean height if the uh, this height is 5 meter and this height is 10 meter then uh, uh, this 2 will be 10 plus 5 and divided by 2 so this mean height will be 7.5 meter and for side wall side wall is nothing but this 2 so for here the suction pressure will be uh, use this formula pz is equal to cg into cp into uh, QZ then we will see uh, some roof like loads that we use in the structure if the structure roof is flat roof then we will uh, use the uh, light load is 1.5 kN per meter square and for pitched roof pitched roof is 1 if uh, the slope of the uh, shade if the slope of the shade is uh, 0 to 1 by 3 then the light distributed light load will be 1 and concentrated load will be 0 0.9 if we use the point load and here is the pieced roof or slope roof if the slope is 1.3 to uh, 1 that means more steep slope and then uh, live load will be less so it's a uh, 0 0.8 and pieced or slope roof 0 0.6 so these are some values which we will find from the shape of uh, shade or roof so this is minimum roof light loads that's not uh, related with uh, wind load but we see that uh, this figure uh, we can use in steel shade building uh, like piece roof or mono slope roof so uh, and uh, now we will say about uh, something uh, for base spacing the base spacing is nothing but while wind passes uh, through and the face of the structure where wind first act is the base spacing and its uh, perpendicular distance is the length and this is the total length of the building so when we calculate with uh, wind load we should be careful about the height and uh, other coefficient and thank you for watching this video and please subscribe this channel if you like it thank you